Lex here. Hey everyone. How is it going guys? So tonight <laughs> yeah. we're gonna do something a little bit different. This is a BMC request. Um, we haven't done those in a while. I know. But if you want to, you can always yes. email us and ask. And if we have the time, we'll do it. Yes. And uh, so did um, Eric Meredith. We're gonna do yes. Dave Matthews, mm -hmm. the song Crush. Yeah. Right? From so 1998. Exciting. And, um, oh. Do you, did you know that they blocked um, the, I think it was by Eric, the the video by Dave Matthews, um, the live one. I think it was. Oh, that's sad. I, but wait, I have good news. They oh. unblocked it. <gasps> Yay! And now it's even monetized. That's so, amazing. That's awesome. So that's cool. You know, sometimes when you dispute and then they don't get that's back great. at you, then the video is basically. Yours. Uh, yeah. Yours to keep. So um, this is from Before These Crowded Streets. Mm -hmm. I've always loved Dave Matthews. Me like too. I haven't Me heard too. everything. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, I actually have heard very little. But everything that I do hear is very good. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Every song I know, every song I've heard, I absolutely love. I'm looking at all of the songs on this album and... I don't know which ones I would know and which ones I wouldn't. I feel like Dave Matthews is a band that I know of because of the radio play of mm -hmm, them. Yeah. You know, uh, they were very big and it's like, it's my time. You know, like yeah. I remember these songs playing on the radio when I was a kid. Mm -hmm, so like, mm -hmm. I feel like I know a lot of the songs. I just don't know the name to them. You know what I noticed? That yeah. all the songs are very long. They're all like seven minutes, oh, eight yeah, yeah, minutes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. like under five minutes doesn't even exist no that's cool i like that up, yeah. you know yeah so they have a lot of i guess interplay mm -hmm. so well i'm excited about this thank you so much eric for reaching out and let's get started let's get started with crush thank you again if you're new to the channel Welcome. please do subscribe like the video all that yes. stuff you know all that, that youtubers chat. do and um here we go with crush okay. let's crush it Let me 
drink you. Of course you knew yes. one line. I think I knew, I know this song. Like, the more it progressed, the more I was like, I've heard this tune before. I, And I suddenly got memories of me as a child. child but, like, even, um, I don't know, like, time that I didn't really have a lot of memory. Like, mm. you know, five, so six. So it must have been, I mean, it's a pretty famous song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A million. Mm -hmm. I like it because it's very, like, his voice reminds me suddenly it's super weird like of eddie vedder it's very raspy in this song it's it's very and this song is a bit different than the other dave matthews and you know also what heard. it reminds me of bjork right yeah like he's almost kind of like going in and out the courts on purpose yeah and i love that there's all this stuff going on in the background there's a lot of strings interplay too, and, between. and guitar solos I love it. Very original music. I agree. I I, and the way it started, it was very warm, very like even jazzy. But it started with a bass. Yeah, I know. So I when know. you start with a like, bass, yes. you got it pretty much. <laughs> yeah. You're hooked in. I'm right? happy. <laughs> I, I'm loving it. I okay. think it's great. Let's continue. Please roll, spill a drop. No, I promise you. Lying under. Cast on me like each it. moment, the more I love you. Crush me, come on. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. I'm thinking, just knowing that the world. Times like these when my faith I I miss, <laughs> I literally miss the 90s and and I'm, it's so crazy to say because we were just kids, but the 90s were badass. Mm -hmm. yeah. Listen to this music. It's like our 70s. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I, you can say that, I mean, in the 90s, everything was better. Yeah. 
And in the everything 90s, in the... they said that everything in the 80s was better. No, than... because the 80s were kind of weird. Like, honestly. Mm-hmm. Like, look at the 80s. Look at everything. Pop culture in the 80s was just bizarre. Mm-hmm. And maybe also in the 90s, you know? Like, but look at pop culture in the 90s. Look, everything that happened mm-hmm. from music. Mm-hmm. I mean, there was amazing music in the 80s. Don't get me wrong. But I know. Just, but the 90s hard. is our time. Yeah. You know, we were kids mm-hmm. in the 90s. We grew up in the 90s. Mm-hmm. And it's just very good. The movies were amazing. Music was amazing. Mm-hmm. Everything was different. We didn't have stupid internet. And it was VHS still. Yeah, Everything VHS. Was like you know, we were like, we were blockbuster. awesome. Blockbuster. We were blockbuster. We were Nintendo kids, mm-hmm. you know. Like, we still got together outside, yeah. you know. This generation, I'm sorry, but like, so lame. I know. It's like, it's like the worst. Everything is available, so it's hard to, Yeah. I don't know. So it, it's weird. it's lo- it's 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 sad because the people that we grew up with are destroying this world. Mm-hmm. Like the those nineties kids are like what 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 that's why everything sucks now. Mm-hmm. Because but because of a few mm-hmm. that everything has to everything is shit to them. Everything is negative. They have to cry about everything. Mm-hmm. Right? I mean that's true. Everything mm-hmm. is like. They have to complain about everything. They don't want to work. They're lazy. Mm-hmm. Like, that's that's what sucks about this. That the kids of this generation, our, us, mm-hmm. that's the problem with, this, yeah. with, with now in 2024. Yeah, I know. I know. I agree. It is sad. Because, like, literally a, a lot of people that we know, and they're our age, and they're just, like, they don't contribute anything to society. It's awful. Yeah. yeah, I know. It is. And it's just going to get worse because the then their kids are just, I can't even, I can't even imagine what those kids are going to be like because they're being raised by these imbeciles, <laughs> you know? But yeah. it's true, mi amor. Like, honestly, yeah. look at what's, what's happening, you know? Mm-hmm. That's why it's so sad that, that these people that were born, like, in the 70s mm-hmm. the, or in the 60s, Look at the music they were making in their thirties. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, amazing shit. And now, 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 rough. There's still good music being yeah. made. I mean, by of course. some exceptions, of course. But yeah. yes, the the general but it's like pop- minimal. populace it's, is. Yeah, it's like it's not like we had MTV and we had you know good stuff. Yeah, and good music videos and mm-hmm. and weird. St- <laughs> and that was the pop. At mm-hmm. that time, that mm-hmm. was the we had grunge, popular you know, we had thing. alternative. This is alternative rock. This is our generation. This is yeah. the music that we when we were kids, you know, that mm-hmm. was playing in the radio. You said it. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm, it's so sad, you know. It's so beautiful to listen to this, but it's so it's depressing that the 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 world we live in now is so like I I wish I could go back. Yeah, you know, I wish I could go back. Mm-hmm. I know it. I've always said that I feel like I was born in a different yeah I know. time. But then again, if you think about it, but even kids, we are born in the time that we're like supposed to. Yeah, you know? and I know, and even pe- I mean, it doesn't matter if you're thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy right now. You are in the time that you're supposed to mm-hmm. be. But it's just like I'm happy that we were born in a time where it was analog. You we know, still got a little we bit. Had of- bikes and we had trees to climb up to and we were Mm -hmm. like watching stuff with cable and we were building our own like little cables with hangers Mm -hmm. you know we were still like we still had to think Mm -hmm. you know we didn't have like scroll 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 all day what a brain dead what a brain dead um generation Mm -hmm. we have become unfortunately Mm-hmm. Nobody does it. We're not gonna have like amazing guitar players anymore. Amazing <laughs> I know, composers. Because the lack of creativity. Nobody is does anything. Nobody wants to learn time. anything. Nobody wants to learn languages. Nobody wants to travel. Everybody wants to just sit on their ass mm-hmm. and do nothing. Mm-hmm. 
Sorry for the rant, yeah. but that's how I feel. This is <laughs> what music. Rant. This is what music does, and this is what I love about music. Mo- music evokes these emotions, mm-hmm. and, these and maybe people that were born in the forties and they, their music is seventies prog. They're like, you know, they feel the same mm-hmm. way. You know, mm-hmm. they're like, "Well, I would love to be back in the seventies, yeah. but now I have to live in the 20s. You know, how lame is that? Yeah. But I remember even the t- the first, like, 2005, 2006, it's cool. Remember? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 2010, yeah, yeah. when we met, mm-hmm. it was still awesome. Yeah. We had cameras. You yeah. know, we would take pictures. We had phones, but, like, that We had that phones, phones, crappy phones that were phones that we could <laughs> text, and you had to play, press, like, 20 buttons to write one word. That was awesome. Yeah. You know, and now you speak into the phone. <laughs> so lame. <laughs> and look up stuff and yeah. buy stuff. And yeah. Have, have it's like, it's literally, if you've ever seen the movie, um, Wally. Yeah, that's where we're going. Another 30, 40 years. Let's okay. continue with Crush. Ready for more music. Yeah, but I love this depressing. because this is what happens with music. You think. I was yeah, like, I wow, how creative. What yeah. a great. Yeah, it's yeah. wonderful. This whole song is great. I love mm-hmm. everything about the song, yeah. honestly. It's the voice, it the way he kind of. puts me in such a good mood. And I love how he goes down and then he goes falsettos a little mm-hmm. bit and then he cracks. Mm-hmm. And I did yeah. hear the Eddie Vedder in yes, his voice. Yeah, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, let's go. I rewound it. Hey, solo the flute the violin beautiful so good so good so, so good this song i <laughs> had heard probably like <laughs> seconds of this song in but some movie remember. soundtrack or like i said on the radio or something but the whole song is like wow that's yeah. a that's a great eight minute song it did not feel like that at no. all it gave you everything i was engaged i was loving it even with the pause like, as long as it was, I was able to come right back and get back in the groove of it right yeah. away. It was so, so, so good. good. The solo, but I just the remember, flute. do you remember 1998, like, when Jurassic Park 2 came out, you know? I was watching Barney. 
<laughs> but I, I mean, was literally watching Barney. I was living in Mexico, so you could just go into the theaters <laughs> if you were underage, you know, like, um, but it's just like, I'm so frustrated with this time. Mm-hmm. I'm so done, you know, with yeah. this woke bullshit, you know. Mm-hmm. Everything is being picked apart and it's it's literally a minor- minority of mm-hmm. people. Mm-hmm. But they're basically the ones that rule everything. This yeah. minority of people. Yeah. Like the the people that are on X, mm-hmm. you know. Delete that shit from your phone. <laughs> Delete that shit from your phone. It's negative. It's destroying your life it's destroying your happiness don't read that shit honestly i've never we've never had twitter we have a twitter account i've never posted (sighs) anything i've never read anything get off it don't use it because that's what's destroying this world too many people giving their stupid opinion Mm. that's what's happening Mm -hmm. that's the problem with this with the world today Mm -hmm. there's too many people that are too dumb and they're all blah, 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 keyboard warriors. Mm. And everything that comes out, and it's a masterpiece, they have to criticize it. We, well, whether it be a movie or a, a, a game or music or anything, mm-hmm. has to be picked apart. And the, the most negative thing has to be extracted and talked about. Yeah. Why were movies so good in the 80s and the 70s, 80s, and 90s? Because we were free to express ourselves. <laughs> Not everything was about color and race. And, and it, I'm so tired. It's like I watch Seinfeld and I'm like, I don't think that this would be able but to I, come But out. it should, you know, because they're not wrong. Mm-hmm. I think Seinfeld is a perfect example of a show that should be, mm-hmm. that should exist. Yeah. You know, because people are assholes. Yeah. That's real. You can't yeah. be nice to everyone. That's a farce. Yeah. You know, and that's what I hate about the society. Like, oh, you better be quiet because, you know, like this whole cancel. I'm so like tired of it. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's when I hear music like this is like oh, beautiful. Yeah, because this is something I can relate to mm-hmm. an age I can relate to. And how did we live? I remember, like, in these times, um, my dad and I were living in Kentucky, and it was, like, I, I remember I was playing in the playground and, like, going to after-school camp and stuff like that, but, like, <laughs> I have, like, fun memories, yeah. you know? And this this type of music and Matchbox 20 and, like, all of those bands that were always on the radio yeah. remind me so much of yeah that. i remember guns and roses pearl jam yeah stone temple pilots um did i say nirvana no nirvana mm-hmm. you know it was and that's when i discovered metallica mm-hmm. and i was already late to the party because they were already in their 90s yeah. phase which is not that good but mm-hmm. you know it's just so different i i i'm so happy that when we met we were still living in an in a normal world. Yeah. I and agree. now it's just like this bizarro land. Mm-hmm. It's literally bizarro land. Like that's how I feel. <laughs> that's why I try to not watch the news or anything. And and it's sad that the movies are also becoming bizarro. Yeah. 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 Because everything has to be now injected into everything, into music, into lyrics, into shows. Everything is about like this bizarre, you know, w- way of thinking. It's mm-hmm. very sad. So, yeah. but yeah, yeah. Uh, I had to get it out of my system. I've been, <laughs> I've been really like <laughs> wanting to talk about this for a long time. But you know, um, and uh, you know, yes, you know this as yes. well, right? I know. And and you know, I think more people should talk about this. More people, and uh, because, and I'm animated because I see fellow YouTubers who they, they don't give two two shits, you know. They're just you're like, inspired. Well, not yeah, I'm inspired, but I'm the, I'm like, why? They're right, mm-hmm. you know. They're mm-hmm. right. They're, yeah. It has to end, you know. We have yeah. to get back to normality, mm-hmm. you know. But we can't always live how we lived. Yes, we can. Before we can because we evolve. 
so yeah, things but, evolve. But I mean, I don't want to end up good or bad. But I don't want to end up like the movie. What's the movie called? Not not um Wally, that um where everybody drinks Gatorade instead of water. Idiocracy. Idiocracy. Because that's where we're gonna end up. If we gonna if we follow <laughs> what's going on, we're all gonna be like dumb as shit in the end. So we have to kind of like get our stuff together and start reading again and get off our phones, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah, get that's, outside that's and be in nature and connect again, you know, mm -hmm. to to the original source. Touché. But well, that's just my, you know, yes. my my thinking and. If you don't like it, you know. Yeah, but thank you very, very much, Eric, um, for this request. Needless Eric must to be say, like, Eric must be like, what are you doing? <laughs> needless to say, we loved it. Um, inspired a conversation, mm -hmm. and just showed what great musicians this band Beautiful. has. The Beautiful. everyone was wonderful. It was so easy for me to follow with the bass. Mm -hmm. It was, I was listening to how the drums were like with the bass this was and... this would be a great full album like yeah yeah i mean that's true. i mean it's very long yeah we were thinking of doing steely dan but i would do like half maybe half mm -hmm. and then the other half yeah because it was so nice it was it was really this. wonderful and just gave me a different like taste of dave matthews mm -hmm. too you know like a more I don't know. I feel like they really showed off the guitar solo, like flute. There, it was just yeah, they're a big really band. different than what we've heard. And remember last time when we saw him live, the way he dances, oh yeah, with his feet, you know, like yeah. like yeah, yeah, so cool. Super he cool. seems like a very cool dude, very mm -hmm. down to earth, very cool guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Eric. Thank you everyone for watching this. Um, if this is your first time, don't worry. We're not as dense in other videos. <laughs> no, no. I usually never um, talk about, but it's frustrating, you know, and a lot of people, I see more and more people thinking this way, you know, just, they're just like, kind of like fed up, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's like, it's so taboo to, to be, um, to be honest. And mm -hmm. that's kind of scary, especially yeah. in a country where free speech, you know, is in the constitution. Mm -hmm. So. I think more people should like just be respectful, talk about what you feel in a respective manner. Don't be a crybaby, you know, and uh, and let's try and, you know, give our kids a better world than we live in. Because right now, the way we're going, I don't want to have kids, mm -hmm. you know, like I don't want to bring kids into this. Like, it, it would be. It would be a crime. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, that's very sad. To think about, like, to be, like, to be this scared about the future, you know, and it, it's just, like, concerning. And it sh and then I'm just, I just talked about these things in this video because I see it more and more. Mm -hmm. And I think it deserved a little, you know, a little... Screen time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, thank you so much. If this, like Alex have said, if this is your video, your first video, um... If you like us, you can subscribe to the channel. Give us a like. You can give us a dislike. It doesn't matter. Whatever you feel like. Thank you. And I'll uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, everyone. Bye.